guys, so today we are going to be installing a sport rack onto the roof of this 2016 Toyota Camry so that we can carry our kayaks. Sports rack. <laughs> sports rack. This is the sport rack. It's a complete roof rack system. The model number is SR1010. When I started looking at the instructions to install this today, I realized that there are no fitting dimensions or measurements for our particular car model, which really confused me because when I did my research on this, this is the model that was recommended for my vehicle. So I went out to the Sport Rack website and um, used the tool that they have on there to put in your, you know, your car type, model, year, and it will provide you with which model of Sport Rack you need for your car. And again, SR1010 is what came up. So when I clicked on the instructions on their website, it actually says that they have no fitment instructions for our particular vehicle. So essentially what we're gonna have to do today is wing it. Okay, so we're going to talk about um, the back rack, which we still have sitting here in the box. We did already actually sit the front rack up on top of the car because obviously we didn't have any measurements to go off of, so we were trying to figure out where it needed to sit so that we knew where the back one would need to sit based on our car. So I did kind of go off some of the fitment um, measurements that were in um, the little fit guide that they sent. For a Toyota Corolla four-door years 2014 through 2017, just as a guide, um, our measurements are not going to be those, but I had to have some kind of starting point, and so that was what we went with for the front. So I did make some measurements with some painter's tape as to where we want the front bar to sit and where we want the back bar to sit, and so we'll get to that in a moment, but I'll go ahead and show you what this back rack looks like um, and the parts and the components. This is the back rack. As you can see, we've got numbers on each side. And there is an Allen screw here that we can loosen with the Allen wrench that came with it. And we'll be able to slide this very easily back and forth so that we can get our interior dimension from side to side correct once we get this on top of the car. The other thing we've got going on here is we've got this really cool little locking mechanism. So you can put these over top of the screws and these can't be stolen off of your car because you have the key. So I'll show you how that works now. So it pops right off. And then as you see underneath, we've got this screw that holds on the bracket that's actually going to hold the rack onto the car. Allen wrench again to use to take that off. side. Alright, so this is all we need on this in order to start the installation onto the top of the car. But I'm going to go ahead and loosen these so that when we get it up top, we're going to be able to slide those back and forth very easily to get our measurement right. So as I was explaining, I used some painter's tape to kind of get my measurements marked on the car so I wouldn't obviously injure the paint of the car. Um, again, 
we're guessing on these because they didn't provide us with correct measurements. So again, I started with the Corolla four-door in the years of my car to kind of get some place to start. So the way that the instructions read is you're gonna take from the crack of your door forward eight inches. So that's what we've got right here. And I just kind of lined this up with the middle of the bar. So that's from here to here, eight inches. And then from here back, it says to go 24 inches. So that's what we've got here again, right in the middle of that bar. But it's not perfect because we just now set it up there. We're gonna move it around and try, try to see if we can get it to fit right. Okay, and the way that this particular piece is supposed to fit on here is if you can see that we've got this groove um, between where the door kind of starts to come down where it curves and the roof itself this is supposed to sit like real snug kind of in that groove and once we put that other clamp on here it's going to clamp onto the inside of the door it's just going to pull this down force it down and it'll be nice and snug and it's not going to move so what we're going to do at this point we're going to try to get this bar moved back and forth once we get these in the right position and see if we can get something in the middle. Okay, so we're going to start working on getting the placement of this back rack correct. Um, we've got it sitting, as I mentioned, at the 24 inches from the front one, but that may change. Um, we're going to see how it fits back here in this spot, and we're going to tighten these Allen bolts um, and try to get the placement of the bar right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop these doors open and we're going to put that next bracket piece that's going to fit right here that's actually going to hold this down to the car. Um, this is where, as I mentioned, we might have to make some adjustments because again, we don't have perfect fitting instructions for these. So we're going to go ahead and probably start on the front ones and see how well those bracket down. If they seem real strong, then we'll just move to the back ones and start fiddling with these. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start installing the brackets that are actually gonna hold the bars on to the car. So you do have to have the door open for this because it's gonna sit right here. So we're gonna loosen our bolts again. plastic piece does go on to the inside. Yes, take the tape off. <laughs> Okay, so Kai is assisting me here because what I did was there are actually two holes once you're putting a bracket on, and um, I actually used the top, and I should have used the bottom hole available for the screw that goes through because that's actually what's gonna squeeze it and tighten that bracket down. So he's unscrewing the bolt right now and um, gonna help me put it in the right hole. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome always a good thing. <laughs> so as you can see, I used this one here versus the other one, which is actually going to pull this all together and make it fit real snug and kind of clamp onto the car the way it's supposed to. We learn from our mistakes. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. So now 
we're going to do the same thing with the back. And we're going to hope that the placement's good um, because, again, the car starts to kind of curve down here and we don't have perfect fitting instructions. So we're going to roll with this and see what happens. Okay, so Kai and I are now going to go ahead and try to install the brackets on the back bar and we'll see what happens. I am going to put it in the right hole this time. So it looks like we're in pretty decent shape. We've got um, the back brackets on to the back bar now. Um, they're fitting real snug. We can shake it and move the whole car. They are not going anywhere. So now we're gonna go around to um, each of the four and install the little locking mechanism that covers up the bolt so you know somebody can't be your sports rod. What's funny to me now is after having installed this one incorrectly, now I understand what this square hole is for. It's for the lock. So we have successfully installed this sports rack onto the top of this 2016 Toyota Camry. Um, that's it for today. We hope you'll like and you'll subscribe and watch for our next video when we actually install the kayak racks or the J bars on top of the sports rack so that we can carry two kayaks on top of this car. Bye. <laughs> that was actually a good one. <laughs> All right, so sports rack.